Hello friends, today we will see how to interpret fit. Before that, we need to understand how to describe a hole or a shaft separately. For example, 50 capital H6, where 50 is basic size, capital H is fundamental division for hole, and 6 is IT grade or tolerance grade for hole. Similarly, 50 small g7, here 50 basic size, small g is fundamental division for shaft, and 7 is the IT grade or tolerance grade for shaft. As you see here, capital letter is indicating the fundamental deviation for hole and small letter is indicating the fundamental deviation for shaft and the digit followed by the fundamental deviation is the IT grade or tolerance grade. When we combine these together, shaft and hole, we get 50 capital H6 small g7 where 50 is the basic size for hole and sharp both and capital H is the fundamental deviation for hole 6 is the IT grade or tolerance grade for hole and small g is the fundamental deviation for sharp and 7 is IT grade for sharp as we know zero line corresponds to the basic size here basic size is 50 we will see in which diameter step does it fall it falls in diameter step over 40 to 50 now above zero line the deviation will be positive and the size of component goes on increasing as we goes up similarly below zero line the deviation will be negative and size of component goes on decreasing as we goes down. H6, capital H6. Capital H is the fundamental deviation for hole and 6 is its tolerance grade. So let's see in the chart its value corresponding to the diameter step over 40 to 50. Here it is. Lower limit is 0, 0. And upper limit is 16 micron. Let's see. Here you can see lower limit is 0, 0. That's why it is matching to the zero line. There is no deviation. And upper limit is deviating 16 micron. Here it is 16 micron. Now, small g7. Small g means the fundamental deviation for shaft. Let's see its corresponding value in diameter step 40 to 50. G7. Here it is minus 9 micron and minus 34 micron. So minus 9 micron means it is close to the zero line. Here it is. It is upper limit which is close to the zero line. And this is minus 34 micron. Now, suppose in case of hole, fundamental deviation is H same, but IT grade is changed from 6 to 7. What happens? Tolerance zone has increased to 25 micron from 16 microns to 25 micron. But if you can see, here the only upper limit, upper, upper deviation has changed but lower deviation is same 0 0 similarly in case of shaft suppose in place of g7 it is g8 what happens its lower uh, deviation has changed to 40 minus 48 micron in place of 34 micron and upper limit upper deviation is same minus 9 micron Suppose now uh, for shaft, we are changing directly the fundamental deviation in place of G, it is F. What happens? Now its upper limit also has changed. You can see here. And this is previous. This is in first case, upper limit was minus 9 micron and now it has increased to this size.
here it is f6 its value is upper limit has changed to minus 25 micro so you can see for fundamental deviation f it may be f5 f6 f7 f8 f9 f10 whatever it is upper limit is constant minus 25 micro here it is minus 25 minus 25 same constant but lower limit is varying according to the it grade 5 6 7 8 9 10 here it is increasing as the it grade increasing 5 to 10 36 41 50 64 87 minus 100 all this are changing so by this chart you can uh, you might have understand that the in case of shaft upper limit is upper deviation is fixed and lower deviation is varying according to the it grade and in case of hole the lower limit is fixed means lower deviation is fixed and upper deviation is varying according to the it grade Now, all this exam, example we have considered that was of clearance fit and of this uh, pattern. It was all the way below the zero line. Sharp size, sharp tolerance zone was below the zero line, like this. And uh, whole tolerance zone uh, was above zero line, but its lower deviation was matching to the zero line. It means it was the whole basis system which we have discussed. Now consider 50 capital H6 A6. Now here small a it is representing the fundamental deviation for shaft. So if you uh, keep uh, fundamental deviation for whole capital H it means it is whole basis system. Then the only shaft will be changed to get the required fit. Uh, it may be a b c d e f g h up to h you will get the clearance fit after that above h when you go for j j s k m all this will give you give you transition fit later on remaining all n p q r s t and up to ZC belongs to the interference fit. So I hope you have got what is the fit and how to interpret it. Thank you.